Here we talk about obstacles. Do you know what I had to overcome? And I struggled with this because I knew for a fact, and I know for a fact, that all of us have things we deal with. My first job coming out of college, I was the only minority working in a particular office. And do you know that I had to sit there day after day and listen to black jokes day in and day out? Day in and day out, I sat and listened to black jokes. And I go to my boss, and I said, look, this is what they're doing. He says, well, Gary, it's all in jest. I said, that's all well and good, but I'm the only black in the office. If it was only one white person, it might be different. But that created a barrier for me. That created something I heard of. I was the first person. I was the first individual in my family to graduate college. And some of you all may say, well, that's good, right? But it presents problems. Because now I feel like I have to accomplish everything. Now I feel like I have to have the highest paying job. Now I get the phone calls when they have issues. When somebody's sick, they call me. They think I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> but that creates barriers. Some of us were brought up in environments where there are, I, I work with men that say, I, I would never work for a woman. Why? Because their father instilled in them that you should not be working for a woman. What is that? That's a barrier. Some of us like specific things, and we don't understand why. We find ourselves thinking a certain way, barriers in our lives. I always tell this story about the Thanksgiving turkey. I don't know if you all have ever heard it. Talk about a young lady who, her and her husband, they spend their first Thanksgiving together. And they get the turkey, she's done cooking the Thanksgiving, and she begins to, she proceeds to cut the turkey they had. And the husband's looking at her like she's crazy. What are you doing? Why are you cutting turkey hat? She says, I don't know. Thanksgiving comes around. They're at the, at the parents' house, the in-laws' house. Great grandmother's there, everyone's there. And she proceeds to ask her mother, says, Mom, why do we, why we cut the turkey in hand? And she says, I don't know. I was always, when I was a child, we always cut the turkey in hand. They go and talk to the great grandmother and say, Hey, come on, why, why do we cut the turkey in hand? She said, I don't know why y'all could have that. But when I was coming up, we didn't have a pot big enough to hold it. So we had to cut a turkey in that. <laughs> That's a barrier. That's an obstacle. Yeah, y'all get it. Y'all get it. <laughs> but think about that. We have barriers. And how do you overcome those things? How do you get away from? You know, I grew up, and one reason I, I hate speaking in front of people, when I was a child, I used to get laughed at. I was always overweight. I found myself, I'd go to school and get this. This is nothing worse than being overweight and wearing tight clothes. <laughs> get this. No, you all are laughing, but what would happen is I would always outgrow my clothes. And so my parents, man, there were four of us. And so they had to provide for four kids. And, and you know, my parents didn't make a lot of money. I got them between the two of them. I imagine they made $50,000 a year. And so here I am, growing out of clothes. And my mom made me wear them anyway. But what did, that wasn't the bad part. She made me wear cowboy boots. <laughs> so I go to school with pointed cowboy boots on with tight jeans. And I'm a big, look at me, I'm a big brother. How do I look walking around in skinny jeans and cowboy boots? <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, years later, and that creates a barrier for me because when people are laughing, I think they're laughing at me. 